Hey guys, I had to drop some stuff off at the post office, so I decided to go to a thrift store. We'll go to one more after this to see what we can find, but I want to show you I picked up a couple games and a big-ass lamp, so we'll go through the games first. These are all just for me to keep, but Sega Genesis games, we have uh, PGA Golf 2, Sonic 2, Batman Forever, Sonic Spinball, and Animaniacs. So, just trying to get all the Sega Genesis games because I like Sega. That's what I grew up with, that's what I played, so that's what I want. And then the big ass lamp we got here is this magnifying lamp. See it bends all over the damn place. And I got to test it in the store, it does work. It was $13.99, which is really a lot for a lamp. We can look at the brand back here. Oops, where am I at? Can you see that? Shit, I don't know. It's Dazer Day Day Dazer Dare. I don't know. But it's D-A-Z-O-R, and it's model 1450HR. I get to focus. I've sold these in the past, just not a big-ass one. They're worth a lot. We'll look up listings when I get in the car, but I think it might rain, so i got to figure out if I can get this actually in the truck and not in the bed, because I don't want to get rained on. No wonder the damn thing's so heavy. It's got weights in the bottom. I know it has weights, so the arm comes out, and blah, blah, blah. I've got it. But anyways, that makes it damn heavier, which is why I'm probably going to make it a local pickup and not ship it, just because... Yeah, I could ship it, but oh, what a pain in the ass. Probably get less for it and it'll take longer to sell, but how much easier is a local pickup? That's what I'm probably going to do. Alright, so here I have the same brand, Dazer, Dazor, Tomato, Tomato, uh, Lamp, and they're all the magnifying versions, which is what I picked up. You'll notice most of them are a desktop type, or um, like a desktop with a, a base, or they clamp onto a desktop. But you see the top one there, $99.99 plus shipping, $157 plus shipping, $60 plus $20 shipping, which probably costs more than $20 to ship, $80 plus shipping. That one looks like it goes all the way down, but it's a pedestal at the bottom. And my, mine's just like this one that sold for $125, and they charge $45 for shipping. There's one with a, like a pedestal type base. Sold for $174 as a local pickup. Another pedestal for 129 I don't see any other ones. Nothing came up with my exact model number. But you can see a large majority of them sell for over $100. Here's another one of mine, 179 but they had free shipping. To hell with that. So there it is, guys. Should definitely be worth $13. bucks. i will start off with a local pickup. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, find someone who wants one that's in Illinois. Make it easy on myself. Anyways, let's go to the one more store. Just two little finds here. The Thor. I'll quit playing with the bag here in a second. I'll just try and keep it from blowing away. The Thor Blu-ray was, I think, five bucks. Let's tag it. Oh. Yeah, you probably can't see that, but it was five bucks. It'll sell for twenty-five, and you can see it's new. Another new uh, Caesar Milian, I guess, Mastering Leadership series. Okay, so he's teaching dogs. $2.99. The cheapest one is $43. And you can see that's new too. They had a whole set of the Caesar DVDs. That's the only one I picked up because they were all new too. But sometimes like the Amazon listing when I scanned the barcode it wasn't the right volume number or it was the right volume but the cover was different. And I'm just so particular about that kind of stuff with Amazon because I don't know. With my whole resale deal, my number one goal is just to avoid headaches. And even though 99% of people wouldn't care that the cover is different, uh, that 1% would, and it would just be a pain in my ass. Um, and then the same ones, the funny thing is, are going for next to nothing on eBay. Like, the price on eBay is cheap enough on these that you could probably buy them on eBay and then relist it on Amazon for the ones that actually matched up uh, the volume numbers and everything. And that's the thing, a lot of people still use Amazon for buying media stuff, and it's just not the best place to go anymore because Amazon has done two things. They've raised fees on sellers, and of course, when you raise a fee uh, for someone selling something, then they have to pass that on to the consumer or go out of business. So they've raised fees on people, which drove prices up, and they've also restricted a lot of categories. Like for CDs, I can't sell CDs at all, so... I'm not the only one that's thousands of people, sellers on Amazon, that could no longer sell CDs. And it's been over a year, however long it's been for that. But, uh, you know, you do something like that and you're driving up the price because there's less people uh, allowed to sell it. So same thing with DVDs. Is some DVDs are come up restricted for me, some don't. 
I don't remember the reason. I think it had something to do with the original sale price of the item back when it was like the MSRP for it. Uh, but I'm not 100% on that because it's been so long and I just don't mess with DVDs a whole lot. But I do like to skim through them, especially for new ones. I'll pay more attention to new ones and pay more attention to like goofy titles. You know, if it was some movie that just came out in the next the last couple of years, um, like I guess this Thor is an exception to my rule. But usually I'm looking for um, goofy stuff, you know, like non big budget Hollywood things like documentaries or this goofy ass thing um anyway so thanks for watching guys just a quick uh maybe not that quick but it was only two stores uh thrift haul I guess thrift shopping I don't know unexpected I really wasn't planning on doing this today but here I am thanks for watching guys